Rick Hong here for Hollywood First Look. Today, I'm with Micah Monroe, and we are talking her movie, Watcher. Let's take a first look. You're not really looking in here, are you? That's him. You know, I know about 90% of your work. And so I have to ask you, when it comes to like a movie like Watcher, is there something about like these suspense thriller horror movies? Like, do they find you or do you find them? Because you're always great in them. Thank you. I guess it kind of both. I, I had seen Chloe's short film, Slut, six or eight months before ever receiving Watcher. But I was such a fan of Chloe and I was just like, Oh man, whenever she whenever she does a does a feature, like I would I would love to meet her or, or read it. And and so I I knew about her before ever receiving this email and then and then was sent the script and uh just related to it immediately and then met her and we fell in love and we're like, let's do this together. So <laughs> she kind of envisioned New York. She changed it to Romania, which I thought was great because Romania was like a whole other character. So I was like, how was it shooting in Romania? Oh, it, it was really wild. Spanish or Italian is a language that you can like maybe get by or like, you know, it sounds familiar, but Romanian was so foreign to me. So I think that Honestly, I felt a lot of similar things that Julia felt, feeling very sort of isolated in this country that, that I, I really couldn't speak the language and, and felt um, very alone. Also, it was during COVID. And so I, I was kind of stuck in the, the hotel room and from the hotel room to set. And I felt so far away from family and friends. And so I think that that, that honestly really aided to, to this, this creating this character, Julia. Okay, well, one of your co-stars is Burn Gorman, and I'm like, he's everywhere now. How was it working with him? Because, you know, like, he definitely adds to this, like, creepiness of a guy who may or may not be watching you. <laughs> yes. I mean, uh, he's incredible, you know. He's, some actors, which I totally respect, are, are method, and they kind of stay in this sort of zone. But but he, um, he, he was able to just kind of switch it on and off, and... Uh, I don't know if you've had the chance to meet him or talk to him, but he's, he's one of the most charming, kind people that you will maybe ever meet. Um, and he loved to like, he was an incredible dancer and like loved to dance and just like keep it light on set. I, I don't know. He, and then he just uh, could, could, yeah, tap into this place and, and his whole body language would, would change. Um, the way that he walked and, and, and his accent was perfect. And it, it gave me chills. I mean, I was so lucky to, to work opposite him because it, it made my job so much easier. You know, you do like that kind of like that frightened look, you know, the tears in your eyes and everything. So, I, you know, like that's why like you get to do like all these awesome movies. I was trying to figure out, you know, is there a zany like comedy in you that like you're dying to try to do? Because one of the times I thought that I was going to talk to you again in person was with Chloe Moretz for Greta. And I think that your scheduling didn't work for that day. So I don't know if like maybe the two of you have like a Michelle and Romy's high school reunion in you. And you're just like, it just hasn't come to me yet. Or like, I'm still waiting through to find one of those i'm gonna i'm gonna call chloe and 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 tell her that <laughs> i'm gonna be like i think i think we gotta do this oh i would i would love to i i think it would be so fun to do kind of this uh yeah light-hearted comedy being on set and just like super light that sounds quite exciting so yes you know that 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 could be in my future the movie is watcher you can find it playing in theaters now